All right, here's something interesting. This fellow in the Netherlands, Dutch urban miner, has been watching my videos, and he's been searching around on the internet in the Netherlands, NL, and look what he's found. I'm going to show you what he's found. Hey, well, maybe something special video. I had a lot of support from a guy in the U.S., Mr. Corvair Wild. <laughs> That's me. So, I just want to show him that the Netherlands is not really a Corvair country. I'm on a bargain site, or a site where they got a lot of uh, adverts for cars and yeah, other things. Too many advertisements. And Junk. He's typed in Corvair. Let's see what we come up with. I'm going to let him search for that. Ah, Corvair. 20, results. 37 results. Now, let's have a look. What have we got? Oh, toy cars, brochures, books. Oh, we only got one Corvair. Well, let's see where it is. It's a real Corvair. It's on a scale model. Oh, that's a nice one. This kind of sort of resembles eBay just a little bit. Let's get a better view of what it is. Right on top. Ah, this is Holland, you see. Holland, or the Netherlands, that's the same. Cows, flatland, lowlands, no windmills, no wooden shoes. But huh, there it is. Let's see. I found the ad. Oh, see? Corvair. That's the ad he's looking at. What's this? A lot of shrimp. Let's click on it. Good. Let's see what we got. Oh, very nice white interior. Probably leather. There's the ad. That's the actual ad he's looking at. See? Yeah. Mere photos. Looks good. a bit. So this is the exact same ad that he's looking at. And I did a little search. It took me a minute. An old license. Two license. So it's an old timer. Let's see. Cool, huh? Now let's see for details. Marketplatz.nl. See that up there? I know you can't read it that well. 11,500 euros, which is about $14,000. Pretty nice Corsa, though, if you like the flatlands. Let's see what else he's got. We'll fast forward a bit. Brochure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's those brochures. I'm familiar with those. What's so funny? Made in Japan. PayPal. What else we got here? Got a six engine. Corvair engine. What else we got here? Okay. I already watched the video. For a welder. I'm a welder. I'll go out to the Netherlands and help weld this guy's car back together. With left and right fender. Rusted. The other side, 20 by 20 centimeters, 8 by 8 inches. Got a hole there. Rusted. Mr. Corvair. Junk. Rusted. Junk. <laughs> Got. Uh, what else? Oh, look at this one here. Click on this one. Click on this one. What the heck is this? Poly Toys Export. Hmm. Huh, there's the ad for it. Look at that. There's the ad. See? He's looking at the ad on his video, and I've got the ad pulled up. But watch this, I can do him one better. I'm going to pause this for a second. And here's the car. It's a 63 Chevrolet Corvair Testudo by Bertoni. I'm going to read you the blurb. The Testudo prototype, developed in 1963, is one of Bertoni's most significant prototypes, a concentration of highly innovative technical and aesthetic solutions, da-da-da-da-da. 
For many designers, the pseudo together with the Kangura of the following year were a basis of inspiration for a number of sports models. The choice of the mechanical unit was original at the time. The Corvair was the American Porsche. In fact, the engine of the Testudo is a six-cylinder air-cooled boxer fitted at the rear, much like John Fitch did with the Fitch Phoenix. Curiously and singularly, Nuccio Bertoni actually drove the Testudo himself from Turin to Geneva, March 1963. In those days, Bernardo and Mont Blanc Tunnel linking Italy to Switzerland had not yet been built. And what a car that is. I think that is in the GM Museum. Here's some shots of uh, the car when it was new. In uh, this shot here, it has real genuine wire wheels. Whoop, right there. And down here it has Corvair hubcaps, 1963 Corvair hubcaps. Quite the car, huh? What else? Nothing. So, back to Dutch Urban Miner. He's Corvair looking at the original model. Corvair. Made in Italy. Five, five, hmm. Lovely. But it's a toy. It's not a real thing. I'll take it. Maybe I'll bid on it. Holly toys. I was going to show you one more thing. Okay. Many other things. Ah, the last of the parts is this one. Oh, what oh, is that? I like it. Scrap. Junk. Junk. <laughs> How much does he want? Two twenty-five. Two hundred sixty dollars for just part of the engine. Crankshaft. Crankshaft. Of distance. Bell housing modified, but the rest is complete. No place for the cooling. Okay, Mr. Corvair Wild, I hope you like it. I do. Thank you. I just want to see if my camera has picked it all up without Perfectly. any rear flashes or strange flashes. Well, we see you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Watch this. Speaking of Corvairs... Well, here we are. Warren Levesque has started up his miniature Corvair. Yep, this is Willow Springs between Las Vegas and Ventura, Los Angeles, California. He was talking about a Citroen SM. So I'm going to show you a Citroen SM that I saw in Willow Springs, Rosamond, California. Willow Springs racetrack in the friggin' desert outside of Las Vegas. This is one of my videos. Just type in Rosa Mund. Rosa Mund. Oop, there it is, right there in the back. Really? Yeah, right there, in the middle. Watch. I'm going to go up and talk to the fellow. Rosa Mund Willow Springs. Corvair. Beautiful Corvairs. But, oh, there it is again. I'm working on it. There it is. All right, let it play. Citroen SM in the desert between Las Vegas and California. See where the engine is in this low and sleek French engineered beauty. The engine sits behind the front wheels. With a shaft, like a washing machine, running all the accessories. Air vacuum pump, alternator, air conditioning compressor. Beautiful French Hydraulic engineering. Suspension. Amazing. And Maserati V6. Yep. Behind the front wheels. Yep, for better balance. French engineering. You may not like the look of it. You may not like anything about it, but... Cool car. something to be said for beautiful French engineering. Yep, I like it. I love it. I'm making a YouTube video. I'm saying people may laugh at this because it looks funny. But it's got the engine behind the wheels. It's almost a bit engine. It's great. It is. Yeah, mid-engine, the midships. The wind was blowing and the heat right was getting here. hotter. Yeah, yeah. If you don't know what this is, you're just going to laugh and say, what a funny-looking car. What a funny-looking car. I know. I think it's impressive. Fine French engineering. Yeah, it really is. Beautiful car. This is very nice. I like this. Gated shifter, single-spoke steering wheel. No, it is a... Motor Trend Car of the Year in 72. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Motor Trend That's Car of the Year. Magazine. I collect uh, magazines. I've got lots of them. This is beautifully engineered and crafted. Fine French engineering craftsmanship. It's here in California. 
It's going to go around the track real fast. Yeah, definitely spaceship styling. Unique, never duplicated. But I have enough toys, enough Corvairs, and enough kinds of crap. So I'll just admire the Citroën SM from a distance. Long and low and sleek. Definitely should have been in a James Bond movie. Beats the Aston Martin all the hell. My friend's neighbor had one of these 30 years ago in the garage and a million right. pieces forever. Enough stories. Let's see what my tripod is to hold my camera nice and steady. Tissue box. And uh, turn the light on. Tissue box. High tech tissue box and a magnetic paper clip dispenser that was holding the camera steady otherwise I'd be shaking it like this. Alright, it is 2.30 in the morning. Time to go to bed.